I would like to thank our organist, Pat Knott, for filling in. Our soloist, Laura Droz, was called away at the last minute to take her doctor, take her daughter to the doctor in Morgantown today. And Pat graciously has filled in uh, with special music for us today. So we do appreciate all that she does for Piedmont. Our first reading today from the Gospel according to John is titled, The Arrest. After Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden, which he and the disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place because Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas brought a detachment of soldiers together with the police from the chief priests and the Pharisees. And they came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen to him, came forward and asked them, Whom are you looking for? They answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus replied, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they stepped back and fell to the ground. Again, he asked them, whom are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word that he had spoken. I did not lose a single one of those whom you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's slave and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, put your sword back into its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup that the Father has given me? So the soldiers, their officer, and the Jewish police arrested Jesus and bound him. Continuing in the Gospel of John, verses 13 through 27, the interrogation. They brought him first to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jews that it would be good if one man died for the people. Simon Peter and another disciple were following Jesus. Because this disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the high priest's courtyard. But Peter had to wait outside at the door. The other disciple who was known to the high priest came back, spoke to the girl on duty there, and brought Peter in. You are not one of his disciples, are you? The girl at the door asked Peter. He replied, I am not. It was cold and the servants and officials stood around the fire they had made to keep warm. Peter also was standing with them, warming himself. Meanwhile, the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. I have spoken openly to the world, Jesus replied. I have always taught in the synagogue or at the temple, where all the Jews come together. I said nothing in secret. Why question me? Ask those who heard me. Surely they know what I said. When Jesus said this, one of the officials nearby struck him in the face. Is this the way you answer the high priest, he demanded? If I said something wrong, Jesus replied, testify as to what is wrong. But if I spoke the truth, why did you strike me? 
Then Anna sent him, still bound, to Caiaphas, the high priest. As Simon Peter stood warming himself, he was asked, You're not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it again, saying, I am not. One of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, challenged him. Didn't I see you in the olive grove? Again, Peter denied it, and at that moment, a rooster began to crow. Lord Jesus Christ, wounded and crushed. Please join in singing hymn number nine.
If my kingdom belongs in this world, my followers will fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish authorities. No, my kingdom does not belong here. So Pilate asked him, Are you a king then? And Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. I was born and came into this world for one purpose, to speak about the truth. Whoever belongs to the truth listens to me. And what is truth? Pilate asked. And Pilate went back outside of the people and said to them, I cannot find any reason to condemn him. But according to the custom you have, I always set free a prisoner from for you during the Passover. Do you want me to set free for you the king of the Jews? And they answered him with a shout, No, not him. We want Barabbas. Barabbas was a bandit. And Pilate took Jesus and had him whipped. The soldiers made a crown out of thorny branches and put it on his head. And they put a purple robe on him and came to him and said, Long live the king of Jews. And they went up and slapped him. And Pilate went outside once more and said to the crowd, Look, I will bring him out here to let you see that <clears throat> I cannot find any reason to condemn him. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. <clears throat> and Pilate said to them, Look, here is the man. And the chief priest and the temple guard saw him. They shouted, Crucify him, crucify him. And Pilate said to them, you take him then and crucify him. I find no reason to condemn him. The crowd answered back, We have a law that says he ought to die because he claimed to be the Son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid. He went back into the palace and asked Jesus, Where did you come from? But Jesus did not answer. And Pilate said to him, you will not speak to me. Remember, I have authority to set you free and also to have you crucified. And Jesus answered, You have authority over me only because it was given to you by God. So the man who handed me over to you is guilty of a worse sin. When Pilate heard this, he tried to find a way to set Jesus free, but the crowd shut him back. If you set him free, that means you're not the emperor's friend. Anyone who claims to be a king is a rebel against the emperor. And Jesus heard, the, when Pilate heard these words, he took Jesus outside, sat down on the judge's seat in the place called the Stone Pavement. It was then, almost noon, on the day before the Passover, and Pilate said to the people, Here is your king. They shouted back, <clears throat> kill him, kill him, crucify him. Pilate asked them, do you want me to crucify your king? The chief priest answered, the only king we have is the emperor. And Pilate handed Jesus over to the crowd. 